Hello, it's Pamela, and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Hope everyone's having a good day. Um, I have been out, birthday parties, uh, Christmas parties, decorating the tree and stuff at my church. Um, so it's been a busy day. Um, I just, uh, what this video is about is to give you some ideas for last minute Christmas crochet ideas. All you gotta do is just go in your yarn stash, pull something out and make one of these quick gifts that uh, your recipient is going to love. Um, I will, guess I will start out with something small first, really small. If you have a child that needs a hat for their 18 inch doll, here are some cute little hats. Right here. Um, I have, this is for a 14.5 inch, like the Welly Wisher doll. This is for the 18 inch. And um, here's what it looks like without a little pom-pom on it. But yeah, this here, nice and simple. If you sign up on my blog at adoringdollclothes.com, this is the free pattern for the month of December. Quick and easy, you can make them in any color and you could um, even add a, make a little scarf to go with it. Nice and simple, a little matching scarf. But yeah, you can make these in several colors, alternate the colors or do whatever you want, quick. So that's for a child that needs one if they're getting a doll for Christmas and you wanna throw in a little hat or something. So there is that idea. Um, and the other one is, you know, I have a tutorial how to crochet slippers and um, Nice, quick, easy. Now, I even went as far as putting a little um, handmade little wood piece on here. Um, this is a small. You, I do have a tutorial on how to do this cuffed. Um, I don't know what you call it, but <laughs> this little cuff piece on the top. Um, and it's in a separate video. It's not going to be in the same video on how to crochet a slipper. But if you want to make the slipper, just go to one of my videos and I'll leave the link in the description box. But nice and quick, easy, just grab some yarn. Uh, the yarn that I grabbed to make this pair, I have a lot of this yarn. Um, I have a whole stack of it I bought because I was gonna make a cardigan in it. And when I got it in, I liked the yarn, but I didn't like it enough to wear it on my back. So I thought this will make some good Christmas gifts. Um, I have a lot of sisters and a mom and daughter. So a lot of females in the family. So I got a lot of yarn over there and I can just whip these up pretty quick. So this is nice, fast little gifts. And the yarn that I happen to use is Line Brand Colorways. Um, let's, let's hold on just a second. So here is what a whole skein looks like. And one yarn, I mean, making one thing, I ended up with this much left. I could not get it to come out of the center. I tried, I couldn't even pull a ball out. So I was left having to take this off and just go around. I hate doing that, I hate it. But you know, that's what I had to do with it. But anyway, so this yarn, if you want to make these slippers, um, and if you happen to like this color, it's very soft, by the way. Um, this is Line Brand Color Waves, and it's 80% acrylic, 20% wool. It's a 3.5 ounce, 100 grams, 306 yards, um, light three. But uh, it feels, it seems more like a four to me, but that's what it says, that's the color. I just happen to have this in stock already, so that's what you could do, is you could go find my slipper pattern, very simple, it works in the round and just keeps going like this until you get to the heel. And then when you get to the heel, you're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and connect it. And then you're gonna be left with a little hole right at the top. And then with that, you just double crochet around and then you're gonna do front post, back post, double crochet around. That simple, nice, quick, fast Christmas gift that you have an unexpected person came up that you gotta get a gift for make them some slippers. And I have them um, small, medium, and large. And I might have put, in, put something on there how to do a child size too, because I do have a, a pattern for the child size as well. 
So I might have put that in that video. If I didn't and you watched the video, just let me know and I'll tell you how many rows you need. That type of thing. But yeah, last minute, quick and easy. Okay, and the other thing that I have on here, this is the um, farmhouse kitchen towel holder. Um, buy some towels, kitchen towels. This is bas basically a granny square. Put on top. See, it's just a square like this. And you just sew it across. You just open it up. And you just sew it across the middle. And that's all you do. And then, um, I think I might have a video on how to do this right here too. I do. Now think about it. I do. I have a video on how to make one of these crochet buttons. You can use a regular button if you want. Or you can use my crochet button. But, um, yeah, and it just goes over your stove and you button it on and it stays on your stove like that. So this is a quick, I mean really quick, this is quicker than the slippers. Um, mm, probably about the same as the little doll hat. But to give you an idea, I made some more. I'll show you, I have not ironed or pressed these yet, the tablecloth, so I mean the uh, hand towels, so um, they may have that line. But before I give these, they will have those pressed but yeah that's another one I just did use white in fact all this I believe is red heart yarn just something I already had in my stash um, and here's give you an idea of some more colors these will make nice quick fast easy Christmas gifts yeah that goes that way yeah so just Throw this stuff together. They come out really nice and people are going to really appreciate them. Um, I think I bought this at the Dollar Tree, the towel, the hand towel, this hand towel at the Dollar Tree. So I paid a dollar for them. I already had the yarn. Um, yeah, so, and the other ones, I believe they might have came from Walmart. I can't remember. Okay, now the other one is I have always been wanting to uh, crochet some washcloths, but I haven't because you had to use cotton yarn and I've never really had any cotton, cotton yarn before. So I went, I do now, but I mean at the time that I've always been wanting to. And so this Christmas I do have cotton yarn, but I went to Walmart and I found this cotton yarn. It's called Peaches and Cream. It's $1.77 at Walmart and it's 100% cotton. One ball of this makes one washcloth, face wash, washcloth, is, I mean body washcloth is what I'm using it for. So here is the good Christmas, fast, quick Christmas idea. Go and buy you some of this yarn or any kind of cotton yarn that you already have. Um, and this is the idea I like. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, you can buy uh, body wash they come in so many colors. You can get Bath and Body Works, you know, whatever brand you want. I just happened to buy this brand because it had more color choices. So you can get this right here. And let's see, I think the color, like, see? And you can get this here to go together. And you give this, I believe that's the one, yeah. See? And it kind of self-stripes. This is the easiest crochet a washcloth crochet pattern I have ever made so what I did is I've made one for myself first and took a bath with it and made sure that I even liked these because it just seemed I'm only mostly used to acrylic and I was like well I don't know about taking a bath with that so I made one in the cotton and tried it out my husband tried it out and I'm in love with it so I went ahead and just made a bunch of them but yeah you can buy these like this and if you buy like a matching color, uh, then you can just use some of the yarn that you have left and kind of attack, kind of do a couple of rows like that. But this seam, they'll get two towels and they match. And let's see. Oh yeah. So here is the green. And then I use some of the green on that the third, the second washcloth. There you are. Um, let's see, this blue, 
You know what? I think that other blue, actually, this blue right here went with this one, but the main color is this one. So see, now you got the blue with the blue. These are all for the, some girls in my family, uh, sisters. Now, some will go to some of the men. And if someone likes pink, they have the pink. And let's see. We have the blue. And then there's some blue. Yeah, and just match these up. I mean, these are great little Christmas gifts. They're fast, quick. Um, and then here's like the oatmeal type color. That's what I call it. And yeah. Okay, how I did that, very simple. I just chained 30. See, all these are like self-striping the main color. And then I have this, the secondary color, you know, just used what little bit that I had left for the secondary and then used solid white. And some of these I used like in the blue, you have the self-striping. Um, and then I kind of used, did a little bit more rose. So you can just change it up and just use what you have. Um, but all I did with this is I did like a chain 30 and then I basically did a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, all the way, chain one, turn, double crochet. I always started with a double crochet and I always ended with a single crochet. Turn, double crochet, single, double, single, double, all the way and then turn, do the same thing, double, single, double, single. Till I got what I wanted. And I think I ended up doing like maybe nine inches on these, nine by nine. Quick, easy, fun, and the person receiving them is going to love them. And especially when everybody opens theirs up, everybody has matching colors, you know, to go with their body wash. That's really cool and exciting. Everybody's like, oh, I got the pink, I got the purple, you know, and somebody's like, well, I got the blue. And they all have the little matching colors to go with them. So, yeah, that's my quick, easy, last-minute Christmas ideas. So, if you have any questions, just leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will try to answer it the best I can. But um, those are all the uh, last-minute Christmas ideas that I have for the moment. And um, be sure and subscribe to my channel. I do have two giveaways coming up and I'm excited about those and they are yarn, <laughs> the giveaways are. And then I'm going to show off some projects that I've been working on and I'm going to show off my Hirschner's yarn haul. So I have quite a few more videos coming up. So I hope that um, you guys subscribe and watch those videos. Um, so that's all I have for now. Thank you guys for watching and please like, share, and tap the bell and start making you these little last minute gift ideas. They're quick and easy, especially when you got a lot of people to make for like I do. I have a lot of people to make for and except for this, I did have to buy this yarn because I didn't have any cotton um, in my stash that I wanted, but um, that's it. The rest of it I already had. So you can do the same thing. So thank you guys, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye.